All right, uh, good Saturday morning, everybody. Let's get right to it. I got a ton to show you. I'm pretty excited. Hope you're having a good Saturday morning. Thanks for stopping by the worst YouTube channel ever. Today will be a little old, a little new. I am not usually in front of the curve on getting the new cases. My local stores don't do that very often, but I did happen to stumble upon the latest, I think the latest case uh, from Hot Wheels. Uh, this is the, whew, I think it's the D case. Maybe I'm not uh, current, but I do like this GMC Cyclone. Uh, this is a pretty hot one that's out right now, a lot of buzz about it, and for good reason. Hot Wheels did a great job on the casting on this. Take a look at the detail you get. That is the actual GMC logo as well as the Cyclone logo that they put on the vehicle. This vehicle has a special uh, place in my heart. Uh, they were made in my hometown of Shreveport, Louisiana, and they were absolutely track stars and, uh, and as far as the pickup it is the fastest pickup ever made for a street version I believe this was uh, like 1991 92 um, take a look at this Hot Wheels version only thing I I'm just not crazy about these cyclonic wheels a lot of people like them here is a version by Johnny Lightning put out a long time ago a little bit more authentic wheels casting is a little bit boxier uh, metal body metal base tires are a little bit different but it, it does look exactly like the Hot Wheels does in terms of the placement of all the badges the Hot Wheels paint job might even be a little bit better uh, you can see a little bit of the difference right there in their stance anyhow uh, next up from the new Porsche series this is number two out of five, the Carrera, the yellow. Really good looking car. I collect any clean Porsche I can get my hands on. This definitely fits the bill for that. Uh, front and rear look good. Awesome detail work on the uh, back here. Carrera logo. Blacked out wheels are okay on this. If you're going to do plastic wheels, that's not bad. This is a metal flake paint job. You can see it just when you catch the light right. And good Porsche badge right there. So good job of Hot Wheels on the Porsche Carrera. I'm going to move a little bit fast today. I landed the 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Uh, this is from the Factory Fresh. Some people were knocking the white rims on this vehicle, and I'm okay with it only because I've been educated by my buddy Christian. Uh, this is a classic, absolutely, really famous, iconic car. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. When you type in red Audi Quattro in Google, this is what comes up, and this is a very uh, famous, legendary car. Funny story about a, I don't know, six months ago when the first Audi Quattros were coming out, the green and the white version, I found the red one online. Actually, I was told by the red, about the red one by my buddy uh, Christian and gave it a shot as a custom. I found some wheels online that looked pretty close to what the original had. Look, I'll put that back up there. And you can see somebody, maybe, I don't think it was monoblock, but some 164 uh, provider had it. I tried to do my own version. The paint work was really sloppy. It was all freehand. Looking back on it, you can see that it's just pretty caked. I didn't thin it out. Uh, and the logo on the front was a horrendous mess. But the custom version of it came out. Um... Pretty good. I, I like the car. I, I really liked it up until the point where the front end detail work let me down. All right, so I'm going to put my customs over here on the side. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I'll put my little logo out there uh, and get all this where we can see it. And then we'll keep on moving. So that that is the new 
portion of the old and new. Now we're going to look at some old matchbox. I hit this flea market up in Alabama where I live. And some guy has just, he must have a storage case full of vintage Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And I love going there. Only thing I've got to get all of these goofy logos off these windows. And I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to mess up the windows. This Ford Focus, nice and clean. Front and rear. Look at that. Ford for you. I need chasing diecast cars to tell me if these are first editions because a lot of them have front and rear detail that is a little bit more than expected and sometimes I think that, that is on the first editions only. You can see this is a 99 casting Ford Focus. We're gonna have a lot of cars. We might even not even get them all here on screen. Uh, another oldie. VW Concept 1, you can see, two bucks for this uh, particular car, 2000 issue, a VW Concept 1, so I guess if that means maybe the before the Beetle, actually the new Beetle actually came out, it's pretty much exactly what came out, I think, I'm not a huge gearhead, I think the front end looks different when it actually came out but I know there was a lot of excitement about this car when it came out it had been a long time since a Beetle had been out um, got two versions of this next one I guess when they put out that Beetle concept they also put out the convertible concept as, as well so this one has the five spoke Mattel wheels and it is a 2000 issue and I'll show you the difference in the next one here. Pretty cool car, actually. I like it. Nice and clean. Uh, lensed headlamps seem to be part of the window. Again, it's got that Matchbox 2000 logo on the windscreen. Rear lamps are good. Interior's a little, little awkward. Uh, VW badge on the rear. You can see it's just a little bit too chunky. So we've got the five spokes on that one. And then I found this version hanging on the rack as well. Um, it's got a different... And it's a 2001. That's So a year later, they put up this version with these wheels. Same car. We won't spend a whole lot of time. Everything else about it is exactly the same. And yeah. Just two different wheel variants. A couple more Matchbox to go. Plymouth Prowler. I do collect this casting. This is a 1999 trademark 2000 issue. I don't have this color. I might not even have the Matchbox version. I might, but I might not. So if we see it later when we go through some cases in another video, uh, We'll be able to figure out if I had it. Gosh, I don't know why they slapped that on there. Front and rear, plastic base. Kind of an odd choice for a gray base on that one. I do like it though. It's nice and clean. A little bit of front headlamp detail. And last new matchbox to me. Old matchbox from the Supercar series, Dodge Viper. I pick up pretty much every clean Viper I can get. This one came out in 98. Oh gosh, all of these cars are 20, 23, 24 years old, guys. Clean Viper. Lens headlamps, part of the tinted windows. Grills are painted. Pipes are painted on the bottom. Really like this in black. Interior detail. Nothing on the rear. I'm not sure about that. Don't get any other color. You literally get yellow paint, and that is it on this one. But great looking Viper, nonetheless. Vipers look good. Um, part of the old, here is one of the Matchbox Superbox, Super, uh, shoot, what are they called? Super fast. Um, I redid the Volvo. 
in a mustard metal flake. Got some tail lamps there on the rear. Kept the wheels, got screws in on the bottom. This is a very sharp Volvo casting. I love it. I've done it twice now. I did a forest green with a tan interior. We'll put this over here in the customs lot. And chopped up a Fast and Furious Grand National. I'll tell you why in a second. I wanted to put some more original wheels. When you look at this car online, it has that single rim or single chrome rim with blacked out rims. The Mattel five spokes. I know I put plastic wheels on a premium, uh, but they really work on this vehicle. This is what this Grand National looks like. If you Google it, this is like the first one that comes up and most of them have this wheel on it. Um, let's get these guys over here. Last custom I'm going to show you. This one's going to Mick 67. I wanted to do kind of a cooler uh, Escort. I hadn't done one with the black. It's a Zamac look. Black and, and, and raw everywhere. And these are the wheels from the Fast and Furious uh, Grand National and I thought they just looked super cool on this vehicle. So Mick, here's the last Escort. I'm about to pack your stuff up and send it to you. Uh, this thing is totally raw, but I put some clear coat on it so it shouldn't oxidize or anything. And got some blacked out lens covers on the front and rear lamps. And this bad boy is ready to go. I think this one looks pretty mean. Kind of like it. Almost kept it for myself, but I'm sending it to you. And uh, hope you enjoy that one. Let's put them where you can see them up there. And last few that we're going to look at. We've got some Racing Champions Mint. Check out this guy. 1975 Chevrolet van. This is part of this spending spree that I've been on at the store called Ollie's. That is starting to get all this Racing Champions overstock. So <laughs> look at this wild paint job. This is a metal body, metal base, rubber tires. All of these things cost four bucks. You save a couple bucks over what you could do at Hobby Lobby, uh, even with the discount. But this thing was too cool to pass up. Check out that paint job. A faux window there, or maybe that's just a paint, paint job with a moon in it. I think that's what it is. A uh, little bit of lamp detail. Chevy Bowtie logo on the front. Lamps on the painted in, authentic wheels, just a cool, cool car, man. Cool Chevy van. I don't know where we're going to put all these, but I'm not going to get them all in frame. I found me a different version of the AMC Pacer that I didn't have, or that I already had, rather. This is a blue version. I sent my other one to uh, one of my buddies overseas, and... Now I've got the blue version. If you haven't seen it up close, here it is. It's too cool to not have in your collection. You get a license plate, lamps, look at all the paint detail on it. Even get the, is that pacer gonna come in? Maybe not, maybe you can see it right there. Uh, chrome, look at the old school door handles on it. Chrome trim around it. Our next video, guys, is gonna be a load of all these stuff. Look at the blue interior. I believe this is a vehicle from Wayne's World. Um, I don't know where to put this guy. How about way up here? Can you see him up there? Here's the other one I had in my collection. The silver with the red interior. I already had that one. That one's on my American shelf that you guys will see shortly couple more I found a different color version of the El Camino talked about the El Camino in my last one where I had my illegal alcohol from my dad um, this is just a really incredible deep deep purple not the midnight purple from the Hot Wheels GTR it's it's just a different it's like a like a plum but it is absolutely beautiful because it's not black. It is just the deepest plum color you can imagine. 
full detail everywhere. <clears throat> Put this guy up here and you'll see the, this is the other version I already had, the two-tone from the last video. Last one, we'll have to find a space for this guy. This is a 1969 Dodge Daytona. Daytona. It is the Charger with the big wing on the back that everybody knows and loves. This thing has about 14 levels of packaging, so I'm just going to ramble while I get it out. And now we will take a look at it. So we're going to move this van up here so that we have a proper space for this thing. It's beautiful. It really is. Red line on the wheels, proper hubcaps, Ron's uh, channel can tell you all about all the different castings and versions of this vehicle and how this compares to the other makers, but I love this one. Look at the lamps, metal body, metal base on all these. Wing, huge wing, absolutely distinguishable. Something you might see in B's collector garage, something a little bit out of the ordinary. Check out her channel if you haven't. It's uh, it's pretty cool too, B's collector garage. But look at the length of this thing. There's no way it's gonna fit in my cases, so it'll have to go on my American shelf, and it definitely deserves a space. So this is the Dodge Daytona. We'll put that joker right there in the front. This is kind of an old and new with some customs thrown in there too. Just a lot of hodgepodge to clean off my desk. Look forward to the next video. I will talk to you guys later. Hope you have a great weekend. Be safe.